ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಹರಿ ಓ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಅರ್ಪ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಟು ಟುಡೇ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಗೂಢಾರ್ಥ ದೀಪಿಕ ಐ ಎಂ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಐ ಎಂ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಪಂಡಿತ ಐ ಎಂ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಗುರು ಐ ಎಂ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎ ಸಾಧಕ ಸೀಕರ್ ಐ ಎಂ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅವರ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎ ಬುಕ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಗೂಢಾರ್ಥ ದೀಪಿಕ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಠ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಗಂಭೀರಾನಂದ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ If I make mistakes, please forgive me. Mistakes are mine. There may not be mistakes in the original work. We have started Gudhartha Deepika by Madhusudana Saraswati last few weeks. Last week, we have completed Chapter 1, Shloka 1. Now, we will study Chapter 1, Shloka 2 to a uh, couple of slokas from that so shloka 2 is sanjaya uvacha sanjaya is saying like this drushtvatu pandavanekam vyudham duryodhana stada acharyam upasangamya raja vachanam abravit I'll repeat. Drushtvatu Pandavanekam Vyudham Duryodhanastada Acharya Mupasangamya Raja Vachanam Abhravir. So what does this mean? Duryodhana has seen the army of the Pandavas arrayed against him in the opposite forces. Looking at that army of Pandavas in the battle array, King Duryodhana approaches his teacher Dronacharya and utters a speech. This is the meaning of this shloka. What is the meaning of this shloka? What to what meaning? King Duryodhana looking at the army of Pandavas arrayed against the Kauravas army approaches his teacher Dronacharya and speaks, utters the following speech. This is the 
we will know that. So let us see what Sri Madhusudana Saraswati says about this. So what he says is, Sage Vaishampayana, who is narrating this story of Mahabharata to Janamejaya, is introducing the reply of Sanjaya. And Sanjaya knows very well the intention of Duryodhana. So what is the intention of Duryodhana? He is going to explain. There is a understood, implied meaning, intention of Duryodhana. Dhritarashtra, who is blind, not only physically blind, but emotionally blind towards his sons and spiritually blind, He does not have both the eyes, one eye of kindness, another eye of human dealings. He has affection only for his sons. There is no question of Pandavas having fear. Arjuna had a sin, a fear of sin of killing his relatives and that is removed by Krishna. Therefore, we can say Pandavas have no fear. But Dhritarashtra has apprehension. So to reassure the king Dhritarashtra, Sanjaya spoke like this. O king, do not be apprehensive that your sons will lose the kingdom, will give away the kingdom. So Sanjaya says that Duryodhana says like this, but showing that Duryodhana's wicked intentions Drushtva, looking at the Pandavas army, Pandavanikam, army of the sons of Pandu, viewed him in battle array, placed in battle formation, then Tata, when the battle was imminent, King Duryodhana Upasangamya Acharyam approaching the teacher Dronacharya here it means Duryodhana has gone near his teacher. He, has, he being the king he has not called Dronacharya near him. He himself went to the teacher show, as a way of showing respect. Also, it is not just respect. Duryodhana was afraid at looking at the army of Pandavas. So he seeks the protection of Drona. That's why, that's why he went near the Dronacharya. But he hid his fear in a diplomatic way and he is speaking like this. What is he saying? Abhravit. The word vachanam is used because to show that he has spoken, he has uttered a speech but did not express any idea.
basically it means he's blabbering. In the form of unusual sentences. Oh teacher, please see this like that. Which is the third sloka. So, Dronacharya, it is known that he is having a lot of affection for Pandavas, especially towards Arjuna. So, Duryodhana has a feeling that Drona might not fight the battle to the fullest potential because of his affection towards Arjuna and the Pandavas. Therefore, he wants to arouse the feeling of anger in Dronacharya by saying the third sloka. What is this? Pashyaitam Panduputranam Acharya Bahatim Chamu Vyudham Dravataputrena Tavashishena Dhimata. What does this mean? O oh, teacher, please see this vast army. Chamu means a vast army. Chamu means Technically, it is a division of an army consisting of 729 elephants and 729 chariots, 2,187 horses and 3,645 foot soldiers. This is called Chamu. So, oh teacher, please see this vast army of the Pandaputra, Pandaputra Nam. Made into a battle formation by son of Drupada. He didn't say Drushtadyumna. Son of Drupada's name is Drushtadyumna. He didn't say uh, formed in battle formation by Drushtadyumna. He was referring to son of Drupada. What it means is Dronacharya had a long-running disagreement with Drupada. There was a feud between them. So Duryodhana is bringing that into picture, saying that, look, son of Drupada has made this battle formation. So, the enmity between Drona and Drupada will be aroused and Drupada's son also will be an enemy of Drona in his mind. So Drona will be better prepared, better anger will arouse in Drona to fight the battle. And he also said Pashyaita meaning Please see, see a more like a request. What is this being? Looking at that vast army in disregard to yourself, you yourself will realize how much they are arrogant, the Pandavas are arrogant. You yourself will realize. That is how is the intention of Duryodhana. And <coughs> let us say if Drona says yes, it is a vast army, it is an undefeatable army, what can we do? We cannot win over it. Anticipating that question, Duryodhana says it is by your disciple Drushtatimuna, son of Drupada. Meaning that as a teacher, it is well known that a teacher is greater than a disciple. A teacher can win over a disciple. So whatever battle formation that the disciple Drushtatimuna makes, Drupada, the Drona, can 
easily break that and win over the win the battle to show that duryodhana has used the word tava shishyena nimata by your disciple just to point out that you being the teacher you are better equipped than your disciple to win the battle and also Akshobhini means twenty-one thousand eight hundred and seventy chariots, twenty-one thousand eight hundred and seventy elephants, sixty-five thousand six hundred and ten horses, one lakh nine thousand three fifty foot soldiers. The Pandavas had seven. such akshohini army and duryodhana had 11 akshohini army duryodhana had a large much larger army bandwas has lesser army less number of army the other way to understand this shloka is if you construct it in another way पांडुपुत्र नाम आचार्य इफ यू से लाइक दैट यू आर ए टीचर ऑफ पांडुपुत्र यू आर टीचर ऑफ पांडवास यू आर नॉट माय टीचर ही इज इंडिकेटिंग दैट दुर्योधन यू हैव डीप अफेक्शन फॉर पांडु पांडुपुत्र पांडुपुत्र अर्जुन यू आर देयर टीचर नॉट माय टीचर एंड ही इज सेइंग तव शिष्येन धीमता द्रुपद पुत्रेण तव शिष्येन धीमता मीनिंग सन्न द्रुपद दुष्ट एन इंटेलिजेंट डिसपल ऑफ युवर्स मीनिंग दैट इट इज नो दैट वे द्रुपद वॉन्टेड टू टेक् रिवेज ऑन द्रोण हिडिड ए याग एंड औट आफ दट याग दुष्ट वॉज बॉर्न एंड इट इज नो वेल नोन दट the life mission of drishtadyumna is to kill drona drishtadyumna destiny is the as the killer of drona even then even then knowing this when drishtadyumna joined the school of drona drona taught him all the um military tactics weapons how to use different weapons he has taught him as a teacher he has taught drishtadyumna all the battle um, how to fight a battle and all how to use weapons and all even though knowing fully well that in future Dushyantyumna may use it against him. This shows that Drona has discharged his duty as a teacher, even though knowing that that may cause death of him. So this point Duryodhana is raising. Tavasishena dhimata by your intelligent disciple. indicating that implying that you know fully well that he is born to kill you but due to your foolishness you have taught him all the uh, fighting skills your foolishness is the cause of my calamity and your affection for pandavas is well known so look at the vast army of pandavas and looking at that you may become joyful this is the insulting way duryodhana is saying to dronacharya so 
so you yourself look at the vast army of pandavas and enjoy that grandeur you are the cause of it like that he is insulting dronacharya so like that duryodhana does not have any repentance and he is suspicious of everyone because of his extremely wicked disposition he has evil thoughts even against his own teacher this is the idea with this we will conclude today's session hari om tat sat shri krishna arpanamastha